，然、哦、那时候心情很复杂，哦，一一一只丈夫被抓，二只诶、欸、儿子被抓，那那种心情很难形容哦，哦，那时候被抓又担心他们，他们不能抓了，里面会会遭到他们虐待吗？又又担心。For the next ten days, my mother and I never knew where both of them were, never knew how were they. It was actually the longest 10 days for my mom and I. This was the second time my mother has to go through this pain. And uh, during our questioning, of course, usual, they were trying to break us by all sorts of uh, psychological uh, tactics. They would tell, tell me about the, you know, your one, one ink is doing badly, uh, taking very badly, and uh, and fiscally. You have big ideas because they, they, they will tell you, you know, he's broken down, his health is very bad, and uh, you couldn't take it and all that. So, you know, it, it works as a very great pressure on you. Well, I only saw him in uh, Kamenting, uh, when we were, we were sent to Kamenting for our formal detention. Yes, I say detainees suffer, but their families suffer even more. It was 10 days before the family was told they could visit their father. We saw a big police truck drove into the police station. The back door was opened. We saw a man handcuffed, blindfolded. That moment, is, it was so difficult to describe. He has lost so much weight, so thin, and um, I think all he asked was, how were we and how was my brother? I think the, the, people, the person that he worried the most is my brother, Guaning, who was detained, don't know where, you know, for him. He, he, he doesn't have any news of him. Then uh, he was taken back again to where we do not know. He didn't even know himself. After 60 days, Kit Xiang and Guan Eng were both sent to Kamunting detention camp. After about a year, batches by batches of detainees have been released, but not both of them. They were actually the last to be released. These 18 months is actually the darkest moments in our family. And because uh, the food was not very good, we had some uh, health problems, we were admitted to the Taiping Hospital. And it happened that uh, there were only two of us in the ward, my father and me. So the family came to visit us. And uh, it was just like we were having a family together. A family get together, even though it was in hospital, under the prison setting. Everyone was there, everyone was laughing, everyone was uh, having fun. We all forgot we were in prison. So by then, the very last few months, I remember telling my dad, if you're still in, I do not know how long. <laughs> I do not know how long I can continue. It was actually very tiring for me to drive all by myself. But luckily, they were released after 18 months. But it was over now. Guan Eng and Kit Xiang were ultimately released in April 1989. With an election again looming, Kit Xiang was immediately given a new challenge to stand against Penang's seemingly invincible Lim Chong Yu the man who had reigned as chief minister for a record 21 years. There was a decision of the Penang leadership because it was felt that if we are going to make a bid for the Penang uh, uh, state government in uh, 1990, the strongest candidates in uh, Gerakan must be uh, defeated. So the whole team in, the, in, in my movement is in order to, st to strengthen the DAP's chances, the possibilities of uh, of making headway, rather than uh, nothing to do with the personal concentration whatsoever. 
I was fighting at a grave uh, disadvantage. It was highly high risk. Against all expectations, Kit Chang beat the veteran chief minister, and the DAP took 42% of Penang's state seats, just short of forming a governing majority. But in the 1995 election, voting swung in favor of the ruling coalition. Only nine DAP candidates remained in parliament, and there were more worries ahead. Lim Guan Eng had adopted his father's tradition of speaking up for victims. In 1998, Guan Eng was sentenced to an 18-month jail term for seeking justice for an underage rape victim. If, he, if you say that Lim Ki Siang is doing everything just to promote his son, which father wants to send their son to prison? What, what do we get? That was really tough for him, and um, I think he felt that uh, responsible for Guan Yin going to prison. He didn't say anything to us. You could see it, and we could feel his pain and his uh, suffering. And it was an extremely difficult time for the family. And there was a further blow to come. In 1999, the DAP entered a new alliance of opposition parties energized by a surge of discontent over an economic downturn and the incarceration of Guan Eng and former Deputy Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim. The Alternative Front won an unprecedented 47% of the vote, but it was not reflected in the seats won, and it was a shock to DAP. Kitsyang lost his seat in Parliament for the first time when he moved from three-term Tanjong constituency to Bukit Bendera. And who would have ever expected Lim Kit Siang to lose in an election? He lost in 1999. A man who beat the chief minister of Penang, you know, Dr. Lim Chong Yu in 1990, loses in 1999, loses his parliamentary seat. It was a devastating loss. It hurt him deeply, but that did not stop him from going to the counting centre to congratulate his opponent and to thank his supporters and people who helped him during the general elections. The fact that he could face such loss with such dignity touched me deeply. Because all his life, he's been involved in politics, one way or the other. And uh, I was worried that, uh, you know, uh, whether he could cope with life without politics. But he did. But he did. Yeah. But that was, you know, a, a difficult time for him. And I think that would have been one of the darkest, darkest moments of his life. But he took it in the stride. And that was the verdict of the people. It had to be accepted. It had to be accepted. He had been MP from 1969, uninterrupted, until 1999. Lost it. I find one quality which is very remarkable in Kit Siang. That is, he doesn't have or show any bitterness. Kit Siang has faced defeats, disappointment, betrayers, even vilification by people. But I have not seen him complaining. Uh, and one of the places we suffered badly, we lost badly in 1999, was uh, Perak, So that was where I went in 2004 to contest in the uh, in order uh, to carry the whole offensive of the DAP in Perak. Kit Chang took Ipo Timor with a majority of more than 10,000 votes. The DAP won 12 parliamentary seats, emerging again as the main opposition party and returning Kit Chang to parliament as opposition leader.